Good morning and welcome to the Panther Report. We hope you ladies had a great weekend and enjoyed the late start this morning. This Friday is Veterans Day and us Panthers have the day off. For those of you ladies who love to make short videos or have ton of Panther pride, look no further. A short video for Prez and run a pizza party for you and your friends. Our annual crowdfunding event, Crowds for Prez, is coming up and we're looking for students to create short original videos to encourage donations and celebrate our Panther pride. Email Miss Madlone if you're interested in creating a video. Now let's hand it over to Shannon with this week's Panther Pride announcements. Good morning, Panthers. Currently, our fall sports are battling in the postseason. Good luck, Panthers. On the 29th, Varsity Wall Water Polo received third place at the WCAL Championship. Nice job, ladies. In other news, Presentation Soccer alum Allie Wagner was inducted into the San Jose Sports Hall of Fame. She was a two-time Olympic gold medalist and standout player at Santa Clara University. Now we have some amazing news from Speech and Debate. At the University of the Pacific Tournament, Aisha Prasad and Amy Santos came in third place in varsity policy debate. Amy Santos came in third place in varsity policy. Tala Kalgetty and Manoush Mahabharan came in third place in varsity public forum. Megan Munz and Lauren Vivas placed second place in varsity public forum. Megan Munz placed in first place in Speaker Public Forum. Lauren Vives placed in third in Speaker and Public Forum. Caitlin Sierra, second place in Varsity Expository. Megan Munz, third place in Varsity Expository. Aparna Kumar, second place in Novice Lincoln Douglas. Divya Chandra and Shalaka Janapati, second place in Novice Public Forum. Aparna Kumar, third place in Novice Dramatic Interpretation. Shannon Miranda, first place in Novice Expository. Nina Robachandani, second place in Novice expository. Regina Ta, second place in novice oratorical interpretation. That is all the Panther Pride news we have for you this week. Back to Adriana and Elizabeth. Thanks, Shannon. Tomorrow we will have our mock election. It will be in room three from 715 to 250. You can come in your free period at lunch or even in the last 10 minutes after school to vote for a president as well as other candidate races and rolling important props such as affordable housing. You don't have to bring your ID in order to vote. Now let's hand it over to Maisie with this week's Cloudy with a Chance of... Veggie Paninis. And on Tuesday, we have Chicken Calzones. Wednesday is a Turkey Slider. Thursday, we have Super Clam Chowder. And Friday is a Holiday. Hey Panthers, in case you missed it, we're starting a new segment to update you on the current events around the globe. You may have seen the massive posts circulating around on social media. People are checking in at Standing Rock Indian Reservation, home to the Sioux Tribe. The area has recently been under threat from the impending construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline, meant to provide easier access to oil. However, the pipeline presents a threat to the native Indian population who view it as a danger to both their sacred lands and the environment. Lately, many activities including actress Shailene Woodley, have been advocating for the inhabitants of Standing Rock by protesting both at the location and through social media. You can join the cause by sharing the effort online and showing your support for those at the site. Together, we can increase awareness of this important issue. Back to you, Adriana and Elizabeth. That's all we have for you today. For the Panther Report, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Adriana. Panthers, Panthers out! out.